guys, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. Even though it's nine degrees outside, a little snow coming down, we're gonna be doing some videos uh, to say the least. Hey, so this is a growing trend that I'm seeing quite a bit. Now there's nothing that's technically pointing to this, but it's something to bring up as far as caution goes. And I'm gonna spin this off into yet another kind of FYI video as far as BMW maintenance wise. So I'm starting to see the oil filter cap itself busting the hole right out the side. Therefore, oil all over your engine bay, everything else like that, just like what you see here. Now there's nothing technically causing this. Now it could be like pressure, it could just be overall, you know, BMW typical plastic. It just wears over time and just cracks and breaks and then therefore you have an issue. But I wanna also spin something off into this as far as having the proper oil filter in your car. Now I use a MAN 816X oil filter which is made in Germany. It is a OEM brand uh, that's, that pretty much supplies BMW with their parts itself as far as for the oil filter. Therefore you're going to get the exact same oil filter versus a BMW stamped OE brand. So those are the ones I run. Now I have seen people run k &N, which you do not want to run a k &N oil filter. Uh, you do not want to run any kind of oil filter whatsoever that has a plastic bottom to it. There's no need for a plastic bottom. The OE one is not plastic. Therefore, you don't want to put something in there that's not technically supposed to go in there. So trash that. The mans are cheap. I'll link in the description box below as far as the one I've been personally running. Uh, as I mentioned, it's not very expensive. It's like 10 bucks, right? And it comes with the O-ring, the main O-ring for the cap. The small little o-ring goes in the oil cap housing itself and you get the washer for your drain plug underneath so all that comes in the package you don't have to buy anything separate so that's been great like i said description box below I'll link that uh, for you as well and of course in the winter time running a zero w40 weight just because it's freezing now you want that oil to be able to move through everything and then when the summertime i would like to run a 5w40 blend uh, so that way uh, with the heat and stuff like that. It has the proper weight and stuff like that. And then outside of that is making sure that your cap itself on your oil filter is properly tightened down. And what I mean by that is, it's gonna be hard to see in this video, but you can still see it. So take a flashlight. When you tighten your oil filter cap, there's gonna be like a light blue dot on the cap itself and a light blue small little dot. It's gonna be hard to see over time, especially how old your car is, on the oil filter housing itself. So when, you want to, when you're gonna tighten that cap, you need to meet those two blue dots together so that way it is fully tightened. Don't over tighten it or anything else like that. That could be the cause of that stuff. So if you have wear on that part itself, it's probably just best to replace it because you know, if you've dropped it or anything that it's endured, any kind of cracks whatsoever is gonna probably eventually break because there is pressure in there and oil is gonna come out and you're gonna have a mess and could have a potential engine damage problem. So you just wanna be careful with all that kind of stuff and that way that you're good to go. Well guys, it's simple as that. Make sure you use the proper oil filter in your BMW. Uh, make sure it's tightened down correctly. Check for any cracks, any distressed things on the cap itself so that way uh, you don't run into this problem. And just, you know, just like with anything else on the BMW, just look at it. If you see something out of ordinary, look further into it, replace it if you need be, so that way you're doing preventative maintenance before something catastrophic happens. Well, everyone, thanks again. And as always, please be sure to subscribe, like, and then comment. Check you next time. Take care.